Okay, guys, uh, what we have here is quick pawn. <clears throat> Let's make sure it's uh, the latest um, the latest version. So click on OK, and it's going to create a device. Okay, I am connected. Uh, my iPhone is connected to the thing. So don't worry about iTunes, it should automatically quit iTunes. So let's make sure let's so we have our quick pawn. So that's the firmware we are on. Okay. It's two point two version, quick pawn. And I um, I don't really want to replace the boot logo, so I s want to stick to the Apple logo when it boots, but, but mm, it's up to you, totally up to you. Uh, replace the original boot, I don't want to, so I'm so so you should give it some time. Uh, and make sure you enter your password. Yeah, okay. So turn off your device. And to turn off my device. So prepare to press home and power buttons in five seconds. Press home, power. So you see both my fingers, both my index fingers. So, so we release the power button, so that's the home button right there. Keep holding the home button for 10 more seconds. So, Ignore the iTunes um, uh, messages because it obviously won't uh, like foreign foreign sims which are not authorized to work on your um, iPhones. So. And one quick note: if um, your iPhone is not detected by Quick Pawn, make sure. You follow the um, DFU hack um, on ilikemyphone.com, or there are so many other sources online that are available. So all you have to do is re-enable DFU mode and make sure you're on 10.5.6. I created a detailed post uh, with all the screenshots, so that should be <coughs> pretty straightforward. That's an automatic script that runs that enables um, uh, uh, DFU mode uh, for your iPhone. So and even for your unibody MacBooks, the late 2008 MacBook Pros and MacBooks had issues with um, iPhone being um, uh, detected with um, so okay so quick one has done its job fairly quick so we're waiting for the so that's what happens that's what really happens when it's jailbreaking breaking your phone so that's a kind of funny term, jailbreak. Um, it, the first time it sounds like um, something illegal or something, but well, it's your phone, it's your money, it's your what do whatever you want. They shouldn't care because you paid a lot. I paid like a lot. So wait till it flashes. It's not uh, flashes. It, nor and uh, So it's 
with the installer and uh, Cydia and some other applications which are really important for the whole unlock process so okay it's still installing I'm using uh, iMovie to video uh, to take a video and I used a screen capture uh, to quickly grab um, what I was showing on the screen for the Mac. So there you go. So it has done its initial operations and it's going to boot uh, in a few seconds. Okay, there you go. So, uh, so you can see Cydia and installer on your iPhone. So let's go to settings and let's go to Wi-Fi because we don't have a signal yet. Uh, That's a wrap. Settings, Wi-Fi, and I have to authenticate Wi-Fi. So sorry for the poor quality of the video. I don't have a dedicated video equipment, but you'll get the idea. Um, it's just more than enough for the whole thing to function. So there you go. That's um, Cydia. That's 2.2 iPhone, and we still don't have signal. So so the first time uh, Cydia takes a um, few uh, minutes to actually do some stuff, the regular stuff, it updates itself and um, it's, a, it's a neat application, it's, it's all free, it's all open source, so it's, that's the wonderful feat achieved by um, um, Sorik and the dev team for all the jailbreak stuff and Sorik for Cydia installer has been doing uh, an okay job so far uh, with 2.0 firmware. They don't have a lot listed on their uh, installer, but well, okay, it's reorganizing. <sighs> oh my god, I have a okay. So there we go. So launch Cydia and choose user graphical only. So you should be downloading some packages, all the regular stuff. Click on manage uh, at the bottom right corner and click on sources. Okay, let's give it some time to do all the processes. So the essential upgrade should be I'll create it right away because it's essential. It's a 568 KB file, and if you're on Wi Fi, it should be pretty fast. Um, so, there we go.